Hello everyone, welcome to Mathematics Batshala. Today we will solve a problem from CSIN 8 June 2023 Part B Ordinary Differential Equation and the question ID is 704047. So now let's go through the problem. The problem is the for the unknown y such that this interval consider the following two point boundary value problem and the boundary problem is given here and it is given that the above boundary value problem corresponds to the following integral equation so which of the following is the kernel kxt we have to find the kernel kxt from these four options so we can see that it's uh, the problem is related to the boundary value problem and here an integral equation is given corresponding to this dvp corresponding to this dvp therefore to find which of the following is kernel kxt from these given options we can take them and we can take these options one by one and substitute it here in the place of kxt so then we get yx is equals to something and then we have to see whether it is satisfied or not in this boundary value problem this boundary value problem so let's see here the given bvp corresponds to the following integral equation this yx is equals to 2 into 0 integration over 0 to 1 kxt yt dt for x belongs to this interval 0 to 1 closed interval so from option 1 we can write what is given in option 1 here option 1 kxt is equals to t into 1 minus x for the t less than x and x into 1 minus t when t greater than x so let's see here the given boundary value problem is this so we can write from option 1 what we have seen in this manner we can uh, divide it into two parts 2 into integration over 0 to x t into 1 minus x into y t dt plus 2 into integration over x to 1 x into 1 minus t y t dt and here then we have to differentiate yx and to differentiate now we recall uh, integral rule that is Leibniz integral rule it is mainly used for the differentiation under the integral sign and here we have to differentiate under this integral sign so now we remember this the Leibniz rule in integral rule for differentiation under the integral sign mainly states that for an integral of the form this this where minus infinity less than ax and bx less than infinity where ax and bx are the upper lower and upper limits of this function respectively and the integrands are functions dependent on x the derivative of this integral is expressible as this but the partial derivative del del x indicates that inside the integral only the variation of fxt with x is considered in taking the derivative. So here now we get integrating by this rule y dash is equals to 2 into x into 1 minus x into y x into 1 minus 0 plus integration over 0 to x minus of t y t dt here by this rule here our bx is what our bx is x that is the upper limits so here we put in the place of bx x and ddx of bx so ddx of bx is 1 and minus if x 0 ddx of 0 here it is 0 so what we get we get 2 into x into 1 minus x 
into y x into 1 minus 0. Here putting in the place of t dx, we get this. And doing integration over ax to bx del del x of fx t. Then we get integration over 0 to x minus t y t dt. And this similar manner we, we differentiate this part and what we get here we get plus 2 into here 2 is common with this whole thing 2 into 0 minus x into 1 minus x into y x into 1 plus integration over x to 1 1 minus t y t dt. So here crossing off these two terms we get y dash is equals to minus 2 into integration over 0 to x t y t dt plus 2 into integration over 1 to x 1 minus t into y t dt. Again differentiating this we get y double dash is equal to minus 2 into x into y x into 1 minus 0 and plus 2 into minus of 1 minus x into y x plus 0. And here after crossing off we get y double dash is equals to minus 2y. So it satisfies our given boundary value problem y double dash plus 2y is equals to 0. Let us take the conditions y0 is equals to 0 and y1 is equals to 0. So here if we put the upper limit 0 when y0 is equals to 0 we get 1 minus 1 0 and this term will become 0 and here if we put x is equals to 0 this term will also become 0 so y0 is equals to 0 is satisfied let's check y1 is equals to 0 is satisfied or not when y1 is equals to 0 here we put 0 sorry here we put 1 and this term will become 0 and when here we put x equals to 1 so integration becomes 1 to 1. This term will also become 0. So y1 is equal to 0 also satisfied. So in option 1 our boundary value problem is satisfied. And we can say that option 1 is the correct answer. Now as it is a problem from part B. So one option we get correct, therefore no need to check another options. But if you want, you can check the other options in same way. Here, we get option 1 or correct answer. You can check another options but no need to do that because this is the question from part B. Thank you. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and support us.